Man, say it ain't so. So you telling me that it's double. What? Double the amount of these? Uh uh uh. uh. This can't be right. We, we gotta hear it from the horse's mouth, y'all. Thank you for calling Nike's World Headquarters located in Beaverton, Oregon. You might be right. YouTube family. We back. What's good, y'all, man? What's good with y'all? Your boy Jay is here to give y'all some updated info on we gotta we gotta call this the most highly anticipated shoe left to be released of 2024 i want to say that i mean i know we got columbia's dropping in december we got the the reimagined black toes we got j balvin but i want to say that this might be the most just a lot of hype and demand and just everybody's ready for this shoe and i want to say partially it's because of just all the delays and the pushbacks and it might be a method to nike's madness as to why it is now set to be releasing on may 25th y'all but we gonna get into all that military or industrial blue talk here in a second man how y'all feeling man look don't even tell me yes tell me actually tell me in the comment section but more so than tell me hit the thumbs up and let me know that y'all are doing good man thumbs it up man we are back it is monday we got industrial blues to talk about and we do got to talk about what's happening this week in sneaks man you know i gotta bring that to y'all every single week although it's a slow week we still gotta chop it up and talk about what's happening this week man so with all that being said if this is your first time stopping through i truly appreciate y'all rocking out and vibing out with your boy jay i need for you to stick around hit that subscribe button man Join the family. It will be truly and greatly appreciated, man. If you do hit the subscribe button and join the family, make sure you leave a comment down below as well. Let me know that you are new so I can welcome y'all in, you know, with the personal reply from your boy Jay. But um, outside of that, man, I'm doing kind of good. You feel what I'm saying? I'm fresh off of a trip. Your boy was out in Texas for a quick little event, man. Shout out to the handful. Like, literally, the handful. The five people that um came up to me and was like, yo, I watch your channel. It might have been like... It might have been five people, yeah, you know what I'm saying? They was like, I watch the channel, et cetera, et cetera. If you watching right now, man, let me know that you are uh, in the building. But um, shout out to y'all. Um, Shout out to the person, y'all. As you can see right here, I do have my sole premise bag next to me, man, full. It is loaded down. I didn't even unpack. I had to come straight to y'all. I was like, look, let me drop some content. I didn't even put out nothing yesterday, but... On the note of Soul Premise, y'all, man, I wish I got the footage, man. Shout out to the guy at the airport. There was a guy at the airport who came up to me. He was like, yo, I watched the content. And when I tell you my mans was so premised down, like, y'all might not even believe me. Like, no cap, y'all. Like, my mans had the, what was it? It was like the, the burgundy, not burgundy, I'm tripping. It was like the wheat. He had the wheat duffel bag and he had the wheat uh was it a daily commuter i think he had a daily commuter as well but he had you know what i'm saying the uh the duffel in his hand and then of course the uh daily commuter on his back speaking of duffel oof, appreciate that bang y'all here's my duffel man look you guys take advantage take advantage man i'm telling y'all look it's no secret I, I, I wasn't even shocked to see him in there with the soul yeah. premise bag because i know how these bags do man i've been preaching it for years but um yes i did take this black one with me y'all this black one it was kind of subtle i got like four of these duffels man one of my favorites but these duffels go a long way y'all i'll be packing them down look i got bags inside of bags y'all you know what i'm saying but like i said i had a quick little uh three-day trip and um you know got my little stuff in here uh, i put my shoes this time inside this bag but this bag itself can hold like four pairs of shoes it just depends on how you want to pack it so i have it pretty much sectioned off to where i got one big section and two little compartments y'all so you can do a lot and then you got a whole section right here in the back man not to mention storage space on the top right here storage space on the side man it's a lot of things you can put inside this bag like don't let me just tell you try it for yourself man you can try and almost save half off by doing so there's a link down below in the description man look you don't even gotta scroll all the way down if you scroll down a little bit you should see a sole premise link right there man click that link y'all it will save you a lot off of one of those premium bags and trust me like i said man shout out to the person at the airport i wish i hope you're watching this man if you're watching it comment down below so i can pin your comment because hey i should have dang you know what i'm saying got you on video but i was on the move and i really couldn't you know do what i wanted to do with that but shout out to you man i appreciate the support but 
Yes, fam, if you are watching, take advantage of Soul Premises sneaker travel bags or gym bags, whatever you want to call them. They have plenty over there, whether it is, you know, crossbodies. They have, man, they, just check it out for yourself, man. The link is down below. Tap in and, um, yeah. Save some bread on it. But outside of that, man, yes, I do want to talk to you guys about something I seen on my feed on Instagram today. And it was about the Jordan 4 Industrial Blues. I guess I can call start calling it that now, you know what I'm saying? Because that's what the masses are calling. I guess I'm going to switch back and forth. OGs, I'm going to call it Military Blues. And for the newbies, I'm going to say Industrial Blues, you know what I'm saying? Because... It was a back and forth the last time I was talking about these shoes. But for this video's sake, you know what I'm saying? They're Industrial Blues. Whatever that is. But yes, the Industrial Blue Jordan 4s, which now is releasing on May 25th in men's sizes. The price tag on it will be $215. Is supposed to have the largest stock numbers as of most recent Jordan 4s, y'all. It is set to have double the stock amount than that of the Jordan 4 reimagined breads, y'all. And I think that that is, that's a great thing. It's, it sounds good, you know what I'm saying? It sounds very good for us to hear that, but will that really happen, you know what I'm saying? And um, just just the way things are going right now, uh, there's not really any pairs, box pairs that is out to the public. Um, Nike has not been shipping out the shoes to retailers yet. That's why I don't got one on the channel yet. A men's pair that is, of course. GS pairs are floating around. They do have GS pairs inside of retail stores right now, but those men's pairs, they're kind of holding off on those. They being real, real just, you know, they locking those down. And um, I think it's all a part of their plan to kind of build up this hype behind the Military Blue Fours. Um, as well as, like I said, y'all, they're gonna do, you know, a shock drop and exclusive access, all that good stuff. So they just trying to just build it all up and put as much hype behind this shoe that they can. Because look, the last sneakers live, y'all, the last sneakers live, we got like the green glows we got the uh the shadow lows and we got the team red you, you know which ones i'm talking about when we got all those drops i think in that same live they did show the industrial blue jordan fours and i just knew that they was gonna shock drop them right there you know what i'm saying i'm like i'm waiting i'm waiting i'm waiting for it to pop up on the screen your chance to buy now and uh we never got that shock drop so it's like i think that's the second time as well too that's the second sneakers live that they brought up the jordan 4 industrial blues and we have not gotten a drop all we have gotten from it was pushbacks you know what i'm saying so i feel like you know it's part of their plan to kind of amp up a little bit the jordan 4 industrial blues but hey little old me i'm just giving y'all my thoughts on that situation but yes you can definitely look forward to ea on that shoe as well as a shock drop and um if you guys want to get info on that shock drop be one of the first ones to know about it even when people aren't talking about it you can be prepared and know about it ahead of time y'all you have to tap in with secret sauce y'all secret sauce is a group it is a group y'all it is a premium group i gotta i gotta add premium to it because they do have a lot of different features on it and i want to say it's 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 so it's exclusive to the point where it has a wait list what? yes it has a wait list because a lot of people are trying to join into that group y'all however if you are watching and you want in on the group after i tell you a little bit more about it all you have to do is scroll down to the link in the description hit that link in the description that link will bypass the wait list and it will get you in that's a family special that's what i'm calling it that's a family special that link will bypass you into the group and you will be in within 24 hours of signing up they do have three different plans i want to say the most premium plan is sold out that is only for members only so a lot of people have asked me how did they get into that premium Premium plan you have to be an original member for a certain amount of time then they open up slots to go ahead and be an elite member so definitely check them out y'all you can get things such as PlayStation portables a lot of just exclusive cart like a lot of things that have high demand that sell out fast they give you the drop to it as far as the Jordan 4 military blues you will know way ahead of time when that shock drop is coming you'll be notified so you'll have everything set up on your end and basically outside of a shock drop it will let you know all the locations that will be having them so you can set up any online raffles it just helps you maximize your chance at copying shoes for retail and not only shoes y'all it is just an ultimate marketplace that's why it is such a big group 
and you have so many people trying to get in y'all because it is not just about shoes so definitely tap into secret sauce the link is down below in the description check it out and if you guys do not know anything about any discords or anything like that they do have their own designated group to help you and walk you through the ways on how you can pretty much benefit from that platform so if that's not just like a here I'm, I'm giving it back to you man i don't know what it is man but it's definitely worth it worth it take advantage of it secret sauce the link is down below in the description but outside of that y'all yes military blues we know that it's going to be double supposedly double the stock amount than that of the jordan 4 reimagined breads speaking of reimagined breads man we did get a restock of them last week and i might have a ups man knocking at my door here soon so hopefully that makes it to my crib but outside of that man this week in sneaks man are y'all ready for anything dropping this week comment down below let me know that is what this part of the video will be about and uh yeah let's talk about what's going down so wednesday y'all starts this week off with a nike shock four y'all it is a black on black nike shock and y'all are nike shocks back man look i ain't seen a nike shock in a minute y'all you know what i'm saying so is this like a new redesign type of nike shock you know if you guys remember nike shocks was kind of going crazy back in the day on the running side of things i wasn't a nike shock type of guy but have i ever i don't even think i ever owned a pair of nike shocks man but it seems like we're getting a nike shock 4 in 2024 y'all and that is releasing on wednesday man so it's an all blacked out version i'm not even looking that way i'm not looking that way but if you want them hey go ahead and cop them buy what you like and that is pretty much it we do have some clothes items dropping outside of that if anybody's interested on the clothes aspect of it i'm not really gonna get into it because uh i mean it's just clothes it's not like a union or a cactus jack collab because that's what most people would be kind of interested in but it is what it is and it is a converse pattern collab so i mean if you like that collab we do got some clothing dropping for that on thursday alongside i guess the thing that surrounds it all which is the pattern converse collaboration y'all so we do got the collaboration with Pata and converse and i'm sure that it's a group of people out there that want to get their hands on those so i mean i don't see that those are gonna sell out but i do see nike pulling one of those finesse moves that they've been pulling lately to where it doesn't say like available still or sold out it says launch ended he he and then we'll end up seeing it pop up on nike a little bit later you know how they go but uh those are releasing on thursday y'all so we do have a shoe that's gonna make a little bit noise in my opinion and that is on the georgia scene i showed you guys the first look of the shoe and uh that shoe is bang the nike air max 95 atlanta hawks y'all so the atlanta hawk joints y'all these right here are set to be releasing on thursday i seen somebody comment on my video that these glow in the dark is that true is that true i might gotta try it out uh and it has to probably be the outsoles but if the outsoles do glow in the dark man it's a dope touch but these are releasing on thursday um not everyone will be going after them but uh definitely you know it's a good shoot for the city of atlanta and if you are georgia native you know it does have like the georgia clay type colorway on it you know but um these they may or may not sell out i don't i don't think they're gonna sell out but who knows you know we, we just don't know i'm gonna lean more towards they're not gonna sell out but yes these are releasing on thursday also another shoe that is releasing on thursday that i feel like more people will go after this shoe than that of the air max i feel like the knock the hot step twos i feel like that will be the shoe to get your hands on on thursday man so those are releasing and i feel like that's perfect timing you know what i'm saying like good job good job nike you know what i'm saying for releasing those when we're getting ready to be into the spring and the summer seasons you know because that's a bright shoe you know what i'm saying that looks like a construction worker like the, that gear that they be wearing you know what i'm talking about yeah nope. that's what that shoe gives you know it does have that bright orange look to it man shout out to my bro the vintage y'all if you guys don't follow the vintage over on youtube check him out he does have a early look of those if you guys want to check it out over on his channel but on um, the not the hot step twos i think i'm not that dude for those you know what i'm saying i do like bright shoes though you know what i'm saying but i'm not i'm not the biggest fan of the knockers outside of the ogs which is the only pair that i own this is actually my favorite pair of knockers y'all if you guys remember these released last year and this does resemble the jason kids and uh yeah i feel like this was just you know 
this was this was the one y'all and it's the only one i own and just a quick disclaimer y'all don't be like me and go a half size up thinking that it's a nike type of shoe that it fits snug or small or whatever these noctas fit true to size so if you guys want to get those orange noctas on thursday make sure you go true to size because they do fit pretty good but this is my favorite colorway and pair in them so this is the only one that i own of the noctas you know what i'm saying so i'm good on the uh the slide too oh oh Sheesh, but yeah, I'm good on them. I'm, I'm that good. You feel what I'm saying? So Saturday, ooh, ooh. hey, look, Saturday, y'all. Saturday, Saturday is, I think that's that's gonna be a decent release. You know what I'm saying? We do got the Jordan 4 Sofers, y'all. I showed you guys an early look at that shoe. I still have not obtained my personal pair, but I think that that's gonna be a pair that I do get my hands on and uh, keep in the collection because when I did compare them up to the yellow shoes as far as the Thunders, the Lightnings that I do have in my collection, they kinda, you know, they in their own little space, you know what I'm saying? So uh, if I can fit them, I'ma get them. And what I mean with that statement is this shoe right here, y'all, is only gonna be releasing up to a 12 in women's, pardon me, which is a 10 and a half in men's, y'all. So no extended sizes in these Jordan 4s. So it's another shoe that, of course, of course, Nike is catering to the ladies with, and I'm, I'm not mad at I can't be mad. I can fit them, you know what I'm saying? But I do feel for y'all who do want a lot of these shoes that you're not able to fit. But, I mean, there's a million and one other shoes out there that you can get your hands on. But, yes, those are releasing on Saturday. Retail on those, I want to say, is going to be 210 Um, I think that, you know, that, that shoe right there, it's going to sell out eventually. I feel like it's going to probably mimic... It might do slightly better than the Jordan uh, 4 Metallic 11s, the women's ones that just released. It might slightly do a little bit better than those. Big sizes, 10 and a half, well, 11. Let's go 11. 11 and up, gone. We're not, no, 11W, 12W, hot sizes, maybe even 10 and a half. Those are gone, so those are going to be the hard sizes to get your hands on. But... I think, you know, if you, you play your cards right, if you go to your stores and try to catch some leftover pairs, you might get lucky, man. But that's happening on Saturday. I need to get my hands on a pair before Saturday so I can get y'all a quick little review on those. Or is it review worthy? I don't know. I might. We'll see what happens. But I'm definitely planning on copping a pair of those, man. But uh, outside of that, we do got some D-Books. Some D-Books dropping in a, what is that, like a suede, a velour, you know what I'm saying? Um... I don't know why it's starting to give me like LeBron vibes. You know what I'm saying? Is it a LeBron 20? The ones that look like those, they kind of they kind of clashing if you ask me. You know what I'm saying? But uh, we do have a new pair of book ones on the way, and it's so crazy. Like man, shout out to the homie Michael Rich, man. How he say hype moves in mysterious ways because it's like. If you guys remember, leading up to the first Book One release, man, like, they were going, like, early pairs of the Book Ones were reselling for a crazy amount, you know what I'm saying? And it's like, once they released, it's like, I can just go to my mall and get them now. And it's like, I wouldn't dare pay resale, a crazy resale for a shoe like that, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's, it's really not appealing to me. It, it really kind of... If I'm being honest, it got like an orthopedic look to it, you know what I'm saying? Like, in its own way, you know, it looks like a sports orthopedic shoe, if that makes any sense. If it doesn't, hey, Bruh. I see it, you know what I'm saying? But I couldn't do it, you know what I'm saying? But those are back down to earth, meaning that you can just walk out and just get them for retail and maybe eventually catch them on sale, you know what I'm saying? But we got a new colorway coming. Like I said, I compared it to LeBron's. They kind of look same. This one is a little bit thicker on the midsole area, but... Hey, it is what it is, but that's what's happening this week in Sneaks, man. If you like the video, hit the thumbs up for your boy, Jay, man. And um, I'm back, man. Feels good to be back off from vacation. Speaking of vacation, if you taking one soon, spring is here, summer's coming up, man. Look, make sure you guys tap into Soul Premise. And if you guys want to get that sauce, now might be the time, y'all, to tap into Secret Sauce, too, because we got a lot of hot releases coming up, and you want to get all the info that you can obtain to get them for retail, man. So, I mean, I dropped y'all two gems today when it came to you know, the sponsors of the video. So take advantage of those two. And your boy Jay is gone. I will catch up with y'all tomorrow. I got an early look. Is it an early look? I don't know. But it's a shoe that I do want to show y'all that is popping up in retailers. You know what I'm saying? So we're going to talk about those tomorrow. And um, y'all stay blessed. We'll be back. Appreciate y'all for all that y'all do, man. I'm gone. Peace.